Ladies and gentlemen, the winter season is upon us, and with that is many more hazards for your vehicle. Stick along with us as we show you a couple ways to prep your vehicle for the winter. Caring for your vehicle can be broken down into three easy steps. Go to clean, protect, and maintain. As always, we're gonna start with the wheels today. To begin cleaning your wheels, you wanna spray on a good amount of wheel cleaner, and you wanna let that chemical soak in for about a minute or two before you agitate that to get the cleanest wheels possible. Today, of course, we're using our Stoner wheel cleaner. You always wanna start with the wheels first when you're cleaning your vehicle because it tends to be the dirtiest part of the vehicle. And if you clean that first, you prevent from getting any of that brake dust, grime, tar, and from ending up back on a clean painted surface. Now that we've got the wheels all cleaned up, let's get the rest of the car cleaned as well. What we're gonna be using today is Stoner Ceramic Prep Wash. This is gonna do a great job stripping the vehicle of any kind of waxes or any other kind of sealants to make sure it's prepared for a new, fresh, protective coating. As usual, anytime you're cleaning your vehicle, you wanna start with the top and work your way to the bottom. So that way, when you're spraying this foam onto the car, it can run down over the vehicle and get to the dirty parts as well. Just like any time you wash your car, you start with the top, work your way down. That way your mitt stays clean because the top part of the vehicle will be a little bit cleaner than the lower parts. And then we're washing the dirtiest parts of the car last and not transferring that dirt to any of the other cleaner areas. So we're going to try and use long sweeping motions on the car that are following the body panels. You don't want to be doing circle motions or anything here because that will just leave more abrasion on the vehicle. So as you can see, when you use a product like Stoner's Ceramic Prep Wash, it pulls all the waxes and everything from the surface. So you see this water is just one large sheet rather than it beating up like you kind of see on the windshield. So that's how you know you've gotten down to a bare surface and you're ready to prep the paint for protection. Now that we've got the vehicle all cleaned up, we're just gonna make sure it's completely dry before you wanna put any kind of protectant on the surface. So we're just going through, drying off the vehicle, starting with the, the roof and working our way down. Again, it's the cleanest part of the vehicle moving towards the dirtiest parts because if there is any contaminants or dirt left over that we didn't get, you don't want to drag those across the whole painted surface. So we start high, work our way down. Just like so with long sweeping motions. All right, we've cleaned the vehicle. We got all the surfaces nice and clean. Now it's time to apply some protection to it. What we're using today is our synthetic sealant. You can use a synthetic sealant, a wax, a ceramic coating, whatever you choose to use some kind of protection to make sure that surface is protected. We're choosing a synthetic sealant today because this is gonna provide around six months of protection. So it should line up pretty well with the end of the winter that we can reapply another coating. If you're using something like a wax, that's gonna last for around three months. So you just wanna keep that in mind what product you're gonna be using and how long you expect that durability to last. So I'm gonna show you how to apply our synthetic sealant and let's get down to it. To apply the sealant to your vehicle, you wanna have an applicator pad. You're gonna to to put a little bit on there and you wanna spread that around on the surface of your paint. Most people like to do small circular motions to make sure you're really working it into that painted surface and covering every area. Then as the product starts to thin out, that's when you wanna reapply some more sealant. Keep working it into that painted surface. Now, we're gonna let this sit on here until it comes to a, a slight haze and that's when you'll know it's time to remove the sealant and it's had time to bond to the surface. All right, so now that the sealant has had some time to cure, you can tell that it's ready to remove. You see that it's gone to a nice white hazy color. That's how you know that it's bonded with the surface and it's time to remove it. So we suggest getting two nice plush microfiber cloths and you just wanna try and drag that excess with one of them. 
And then the other one is just used to just to shine, final finish it. Now, without a 50-50 comparison, it's hard to tell in this situation, but when you put a sealant on your vehicle, you can expect it to have more of a cool tone glow as opposed to when you're putting a wax on your vehicle, that's more of a warm glow. So what you see a lot of people do is they'll put a sealant down first to get that six months of protection. And then the people that prefer that warmer glow that the wax provides, they'll put that on afterwards as an additional three months of protection on top of the sealant. Making sure all of your surfaces are protected with some kind of protectant, whether it be a wax, sealant, ceramic coating, is gonna prevent any of that salt, road grime, or the nasty things that we see in the wintertime from sticking to that surface. So that way, when you go to wash the vehicle and maintain it, it's a much easier to clean and the painted surface below is protected. All right, now that we've cleaned the vehicle, we've protected it, it's ready to be thrown at the winter elements. Now, as you're gonna maintain the vehicle throughout the winter time, we suggest washing it every like one to two weeks, depending on what the usage of the vehicle is and how dirty it is. But then when you're going back to clean the vehicle, the one thing you'd wanna change, rather than using a prep wash, it's gonna strip off all those sealants that we put on. Using a car wash soap, like our coating wash, will leave behind the sealants and waxes that we've been using to protect the painted surface, but it will remove all the dirt and debris. So this is more or less something you wanna use if you're planning on doing a maintenance wash on the vehicle. All right, so the only part of the process that would really change from today's process, you'd wash the vehicle with the coating wash, you'd wanna make sure the vehicle was dry, but as you're drying the vehicle, you can actually use something like our hybrid ceramic detailer as a drying aid, and also to replenish any of the protection on the vehicle. To use it, all you would simply do is spray it on the paint, and you just wipe it down, like so, flip to a new side. And that's gonna replenish the hydrophobics, bring back that beading. Uh, we've protected all of the painted surface of the vehicle, but you don't wanna forget about the glass. Using our new hybrid ceramic clean and repel, you're able to see a lot better in the winter time because rather than any kind of snow or moisture sticking to the windshield, you'll see it bead up and run right off. So to apply this, all you do is spray it on there Wipe it down with one cloth, switch to a clean one, right through again. And just like that, you have four to six months of protection for your windshield. As long as you follow those three simple steps, your car should stay cleaned and protected throughout the winter. Thanks for joining us. See you in the next one.